Hi, Bill Knight with Right Angle. Today I want to show you how to install one of our CPU holders. It's the 202 CPU, similar to our 203. Let's get started. At the intro, I told you this is our 202 and our 203 CPU holder. The difference is, is the width. The 202 is for smaller, slimline computers, and the 203 is for larger versions. The 203 is for five and a quarter and above, and the uh, 202 is for five and a quarter and below. Now, when you're installing this, take everything out of the box, lay everything all out. You're gonna have several parts here. Your installation screws, the thumb screws that'll install the, the plates, the sliding bracket, and then also you have the rubber bumpers. This is the main part you have to install. This unit here, you can install two different directions. If I do it this way, the CPU will go on this side. I can turn it, install it this way, and the CPU would be on this side. Now, the biggest thing you need to worry about, if you do install it closer to the outside, is you need to make sure it's centered in the mounting bracket. So I measure my CPU, find out the width, and take it from the center up here, and make sure you have clearance in the front and the back. And you have to take into consideration the cables you have on your CPU, because they will drape out, and you don't want them to bind up with anything that's moving up and down. So for me, I'm gonna install it on, which is my left side of the desk, and I'm gonna have it going inward. Now, I could install it on the right-hand side of my desk, but I'm saving this for one of our Joey's, which is a file cabinet that installs to the work surface. So basically, again, you're gonna take your measurements. My CPU is about 15 inches, so that's gonna be about seven and a half inches to the middle. Puts it about there. I prefer using a uh, electric drill with a torque setting with a square drive. It makes the installation go much easier. Otherwise, you will have to pre-drill the holes. And uh, these are self-drilling screws, but if you're using a hand tool, it's near impossible to get them started. After I get a couple in here, I can start snugging them down. Okay, I have all six screws in. I'm gonna go back to the first one in, snug that one down. Okay, this is the vertical section. This can move up and down. It can go from uh, about a nine inch opening up to just about a 19 inch opening. So the height of your computer can be almost 19 inches tall. So you can see that slides through here. We're gonna take our nut here. We can position it where we feel it's best. And again, you're installing this. You might be installing this for somebody else and you may not know the exact height of their computer. And then this plate would install just like this. Now, I'm not gonna stick it on yet because I have the bumpers that we want to install. What these do is they just help grip the computer. Okay, you're gonna have these four round bumpers. These get installed here. Then you have a washer. This goes here. This will go there. You tighten it up and it's all set to hold your computer. Now remember, this is the smaller one. It goes from about three and an eighth inch wide for your computer up to five and a quarter. That's how you install our 202 and 203 CPU holder. If you found this helpful, please click the like button and subscribe. Thanks for watching.